Now for two rounds of financing, the an example will look like this. Again, we will start with Wiz Plus here. Okay, that's a young startup company and the founders estimate to sell the company for $80 million in six years time. But this time they only plan to raise $6 million today and the other $4 million is to be raised two years from now. And MGL Ventures will be the investor for the first round and Camelot Capital will be a potential investor for the second round. So the discount rate for this risky startup will be 30%. And the founders of Wisplats against owns uh, 2 million shares. Again, let's draw the timeline. So we draw it up to year 6. So again, the timeline is to the exit value is 80 million in 6 years' time. And the funding, of course, happens in two stages. So one is in year 0. Uh, the investment here today will start with 6 million. And then the investment in year 2 will be $4 million. So we'll treat this just like a PV question. So what I'll do now is I'll have to find out what's the post money valuation in year two. Okay, so we'll discuss we'll discount this 80 million back to year two to get the post money valuation. That's 80 million. Then we'll discount that at our uh, 30% for four years. Okay, because we're discounting from six years to two years. So in that case, uh, your FV will be 80 million. Okay, N is equals to four here because we're discounting back four years. 30 is our IY, PMT is 0, and then compute PV. So the post money valuation would be 28.01 million. Okay, so at this point, uh, at year 2, the investment will be made by Camelot Capital. So the pre money valuation will be the post money valuation minus the investment made by Camelot Capital, which is 4 million. So the pre-money valuation will be 24.01 million. Okay, and if we were to calculate the post-money valuation at time zero, so we'll then discount this 24.01 million from year two back to year zero. So we'll discount that by two years. So what we'll get is, now we have to reset 24.01 as our FV and 30% is still IY. Okay, and now 2 is N because it's only 2 years back. 0 is still PMT. And then we'll compute PV. So that's 14.207. 14.207 million. And if you want to calculate the pre-money valuation, just take the amount here, 14.207 million, minus the investment at time 0, which is 6 million. So that will give you 8.207 million. Now, take note that uh, at round two, it will be Camelot Capital, that's uh, the investor, and at time zero, it will be MGL Ventures. So in this case, if you're trying to calculate how many shares would be held by uh, MGL and held by Camelot Capital, we'll then have to calculate the percentage ownership again. So the ownership percentage for Camelot Capital will be the amount that they have invested, which is 4 million in year two and the post money valuation at that time is 28.01 million so in other words they will own about uh, four divided by 28.01 so in this case uh, Camelot Capital will hold about 14.28 percent 14.28 percent of the company whereas the remaining amount of 1 minus uh, 0 0.1428 so the remaining 85.72%. So the remaining 85.2% will be held by the founders and also the and also the MGL. Okay? So we first have to find out how much MGL holds in terms of the shares. We know the founders hold 2 million shares, but how much does MGL hold? Okay? So we then move on to the starting point. So we know that the post money valuation at the initial point is 14.207 million. So the amount of the percentage ownership held by venture MGL Ventures will be the amount that they invest, which is $6 million here. So they invested 6 million and the post money valuation at the time is 14.207 million. So the percentage ownership here will be 6 divided by 14.207. So that's about 42.23%. So at that point in time, the ownership held by the founders would then be the difference, which is 0.4223.
which will be 1 minus 0 0.4223 so that's about 57.77% uh, right so let's draw a line just to draw a line between them so at the initial point uh, the founders who own 57.77% of the company they were holding 2 million shares so how much shares would the uh, would MGL fan just get so if you take 42.23% divide by 57.77% so this will be proportional to the number of shares and held by the venture capitalist MGL over the number of shares held by the founders which is 2 million so in this case n will be equals to 42.23 over 57.77 times 2 million so that will be equals to 42.23 divide by 57.77 times 2 million so the so MGL would get about 1.462 million. Okay, so there's five shares, uh, and here, so this how this how much shares uh, M, uh, MGL would get. Okay, so this at time zero, and this for MGL. Okay, so based on that, we can of course calculate what is the price per share held by MGL at that point. Okay, so if you calculate the price held by MGL. So that would be the amount that they've invested, which is for uh, 6 million. Okay, divide by the number of shares, which is 1462005. So that would be equals to 6 million. Divide by 1462005. So that's uh, 410 per share. Okay, so this is for MGL. Now, what about... Uh, Camelot Capital. So of course now we have the numbers here. So if we move back to Camelot Capital, so in this case uh, Camelot Capital owns 14.28% of the company. So we'll take 14.28%. Then the founders and MGL holds the rest of the 85.72%. So this time we'll calculate N2 which is for Cap Camelot Capital. And uh, of course the founders, the founders will hold 2 million shares. And uh, we've just calculated that uh, MGL will hold the uh, will hold 1.462 million shares so in this case if you calculate N2 we'll get 14.28% over 85.72 okay multiply by 3,462,005 shares so in this case Camelot Capital will get 14.28 divide by 85.72 times 3,462,005 so that's about 576,732 so what's the price per share held by uh, Camelot Capital so in this case uh, Camelot Capital invested uh, 4 million uh, 4 million dollars and then they got 576,732 so if you calculate that that will be four million dollars okay divide by five hundred and seventy six thousand seven hundred and thirty two so we can see that the shares are normally after the first round in the second round third round and so on and so forth is going to become more expensive or more valuable so that's six dollars and ninety four cents okay so this is the uh, price paid by uh, Camelot Capital in the second round of financing and for uh, MGL, they only paid 410 per share in their first round of financing.